would they be opposite? That's a great right, question. I, I, I personally love, love um, think uh, the if you're going down the route with the the odd shoes in terms of the shoes that work in sync with each other, then you should change up the socks. I agree with that. I think mean, that's quite cool, particularly for juniors. I think down. it's good fun with the sweatbands and all the rest of it, Ben. It's a great yeah. question. And then, interestingly, I, I was never a fan Hand of the... Well, I was up. at one point going around with long socks and it wasn't even the recovery socks. So I, w I was playing in... Do you remember uh, the old John McEnroe tube socks? That's the Nike what tube I socks. went through a whole those. season of playing like that. Yeah. And it, I had to stop because it was overheating. So I had quite long shorts as well. So I had no... <laughs> I just got very, very hot. Might as well just played in a tracksuit. Um, down. So it wasn't the recovery socks, which is what... And out, one all. A lot of these chaps. Salazar's has got on there. Um, but I personally just like the mid-normal socks. I'm not a big fan of the ones that show the ankle for the men. I know a lot of the Australian players uh, back in the day would use those, like Stuart Boswell and Paul Cole likes it. Rodriguez has got short socks on. I'm not a big fan of it for the guys. What do you feel? I'd prefer short, short shorts. Yes, lad. Short socks. One off. I was a short sock fan. <laughs> Player review Salazar on the yes. Oh, no, short, Which is funny short, because shorts. actually I'm thinking back when I played, I actually wore... Hang on a minute. What, you like the what, little mincers around the, the ones around the ankles? The, the short, the, the socks. Just about to, when I was playing, you see this review here. This is an interesting one. I think that's a let ball because he's kind of faked here the initial shot, and then he waits, and he then he's looking for yeah, Rodriguez. This to me is a good. Uh, this is a good original decision for me. Yeah, he's waited, hasn't from he? That, he's from that, from that, that, this is the best angle because it shows perspective. This is shows there. He could play that and not hit Rodriguez. Yeah. He would step forward and play that. This has got to be a let ball because he's waited back then. This is the worst angle because you see that you say stroke all day long because it condenses yes, the court. It makes the ball look closer upheld. to the opponent. Skyview angles on those is the well. best. 100% agree. Go on then, going back to the short shorts that you wore. Short socks. Socks, no, sorry. When I was playing actually, I, I used to wear, they were almost like football length socks, but I used to, I used to roll them down and then fold them. I used to actually have a bit of a fold on the ankle. It's quite. A, I'll show you the look later, but it was um, like the footballers used to wear yeah, back yeah, in yeah, the day. Yeah, 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 so they're bulky around the ankle. Yes, yeah. I used yeah, to, I used to like that's, that look. I, that's quite a nice look. Yeah, I, I think I went through that look as well for a bit, but I've never been a fan of the really short crop socks, socks yeah. like the crop socks for the guys. Down. I mean, obviously, Rodriguez has and got fantastic two, calves, <coughs> so, you know, he can carry it off there. Look, we just have a nice cloak. He's got huge calves. Shaves his legs as well. Did you shave your legs? No, or never. Not even for a night <laughs> no out. Chance, not, not even for a night out. Not even on the weekend, no. 3-1. Yes, let 3-1. Proposed nickname here for Cesar Salazar. From uh, <laughs> Derek Glenzer. His suggestion is how about the sardine? Because it's small, salty, and it goes on a Caesar salad. <laughs> yes, lad. I thought that was an anchovy. An anchovy, yeah, sorry there, <laughs> Derek. Sorry <laughs> to <laughs> correct you there. I'm not sure where you get your Caesar salads from, but <laughs> there should be anchovies on there. Yeah, he's obviously getting fake Caesar salads. Or maybe he's fancy, maybe Derek's a bit posh. I don't know, I don't, I don't think he'd be over the moon with that one. <laughs> the sardine. The anchovy's even worse. They smell. Yeah, it's a stroke. Actually, no, no, he's playing him a little bit there. It's a bit nutty nutty. What would you give? I'd give a let ball in this situation. Yeah. Stroke to Rodriguez, decision overruled. Rodriguez has one review remaining. Handout, two, three. It's a good start here from Salazar. He's got to try and capitalize now and build on that slight lead. An 
unbelievable turnaround there from Rodriguez. I still feel Three that all. Salazar's not using enough height on the front wall. It's so fast and furious. There's the back wall boast. I mean, the entire <laughs> back uh, no, but crowd it was, there. It was like he had a third arm that did that because <laughs> the other ones didn't move at all. It was that quick. Sneaky, sneaky. Rapido. Goodness me. There's the guess. That was. There's a massive Vamos there from Rodriguez. That was very, very explosive. 4 3. Well, for all the squash fans, you can also, outside of Europe, watch right box. this on the uh, PSA Facebook page. There's a live stream going on. Right box. Four and you three. can write in with your questions to myself and PJ. No, thanks. No, we don't need it. We do have uh, no, a question here, Salazar. Joey, from Esteban Rajal. And uh, he's wondering, uh, we often talk about, we reference the English style of play, the Egyptian style of play, the French style of play. And the question from Esteban is, are there any common characteristics in Rodriguez's and Salazar's Big time. and Elias's playing styles? Kind of like a Latin theme. Uh -huh in comparison oh. to other players that's Definitely. a very good question Five, three 100% I mean I, I would I would slightly take Diego out of that bracket just yeah. because he's for us we both agree he's a, there's a more kind of this type of Jancha and out like laid quality. back five. slightly laid back there's yeah. still some of the uh, uh, well not some there's a lot of magic that goes on because he's very skillful and he's got some beautiful skills but in terms of for me the, the actual Latin side of the game it would be Firstly, the height factor for these guys. Slightly shorter in stature, very, very quick and explosive. Um, it's like football. It's like you think about the, the you know, the, um, the Colombians, the Argentinians. South Americans, South Americans yeah. yeah, South Americans. I mean, a lot of flair, isn't there? Yeah, Mexico's Central America. North America, actually. Mexico, but it's Stroke in terms of the Latin football nations, let's class it as that. It's, it's that same, there's that little bit of extra... Watchability. He couldn't hit the front wall. Bit of as you would say, a bit of spice. Play, play <laughs> spice. <with> you, <laughs> it's a bit of spice. There's some flair in there, isn't it? Yeah, it's some flair. It's just a little bit different, and it's all. It does involve speed, though. He couldn't and agility hit the front and, wall. and reactions. So a very good a question from. Uh, who was that? Rahul. Uh, no, that was Esteban. Rahul. Yeah, that was a great question. So yeah, wherever you're from in. Uh, he has a line. The Latin America area. Fantastic question. You should be very proud of these guys. What they're doing for the game out there is unreal. A few decisions going on here. The stroke, I mean, you've got to talk about the front wall scenario. Yeah, they can't see the entire front wall there, can he? Stroke to Rodriguez, uh, stro sorry, stroke to Salazar, decision upheld. Rodriguez has no review. It's a good remaining. decision. I think that's Five pretty straightforward. Left box. A lot of quick hand reaction ability and anticipation from these uh, Latin American players. They got, with the altitude, you develop a lot quicker um, reaction abilities. Ball going through the air quicker. Wow. Goodness me, PJ. Ooh, that was, there's a Vamos now from Salazar. The passion's flowing. 6-5. <laughs> right box. Stopped. Interesting movement there from Salazar. Went for the three wall post. This is where, again, he's just got to batten down the hatches a little bit and not get too carried away. Yeah, yeah, but you accepted the, the disturbance. No, no, this has oh, to be on, a let ball. On. This has to be Don't a let open ball. The door. There was uncertainty going on there. You accepted the interference and continued to play. No, you can't stop in the middle of the rally and. No, that's bad. Are it's you, a are simple you asking for a decision here or, or not? 
I'm not going to give a light on that. There's uncertainty taking play. place there with yes. and you Rodriguez. And the interference and continued play. I understand that, but you continued to play. You needed to stop at that point. No, no, no. That's, it was very apparent, the noise for, that Salazar made as right he now? went through to finish? play the ball there. You're, you're asking, that's a no let. That's astonishing. That's really astonishing. Seven, as he goes five, in here, five. he stops and asks. And Rodriguez actually appeals straight away. That's a bad decision for me. That's bad. <laughs> oh, nice. It's been stitched up there. Yeah, he's got to get his concentration back. But Salazar's making a Eight move five. in this third. 8-5. Done well there. He's under some serious pressure in the back corners, Rodriguez. Hand out, 6 8. No let. No, my life. No. Good decision there. You That's don't a have good a good decision. Created his own interference there, really. Went completely the wrong way. 7-8. Some really, really good questions coming in, Keish. Yeah, there's another one here, actually. Um, it's from a chap called Rajat. And his question is... That's uh, tight. Uh, That's very tight. I think he's with when we were talking about the court sprint test. Eight or all. Or the, the speed challenge between the, yeah. the top guys there. Um, why do we not consider Matthew, Shabana, and Ashore as fast players in that uh, in that top five list? Uh, I would agree with um, a fit Rami again yeah. to go in there because yeah. he's ridiculously quick. Uh, <laughs> but I wouldn't in the top. I wouldn't put Nick Matthew in on the Shabana and in that nine, top five eight. speed, not at all, not off the mark speed like that. No, not even close. No. For me. D a little Shabana was always very Salazar. elegant, very graceful. Very smooth, and very out. read the game. I mean, he moved beautifully yeah. and, and, and read did, the game. As did Nick but Matthew, we're but talking about off the mark, raw speed. Sheer power and speed. That no, would never that's be a why. trait. But Rami Ashour is a fit Rami Ashour. Yeah, I mean, he's like a cat himself. Yeah. So hopefully that's it's a stroke. He's hustled away here, Kenny, Salazar. He's got two right game ball. balls to extend this third round. It's got a little bit scrappy, and it certainly suited the Mexican in this phase of the game. Down. Hand out, 9 10. <laughs> this is a ball. big rally, PJ. You Huge. would say there's a big difference between 3 love and 2 1. Is that not right? I'm just re-quoting what you say and agreeing with it. It's one for the Nick Post. Sounds like his string's gone there. No, that's fine. I think his string's gone. Salazar. In the old days, is when your string went, it's where you kind of played a shot and then rugby tackled your opponent <laughs> and asked for a let. <laughs> um, oh, that's clever. His string hasn't gone. Oh, it's an, it's an optical yeah. illusion. Ten all, a player must win by two points. Each player has one Let's review available. Ears. Put some buds back in the room. I wonder where they are. Tie break situation. Rodriguez with a two love lead. Nice. Good squeeze. Oh. Well, he's whiffed 
missed it. He's got the lucky bounce, the ball just catching the Hand back out. wall and the 11, side 10, wall join. Game ball. Squirting straight down the line. No, no, play on. And out, 11 all. Well, he saved another game ball, Rodriguez. That's a, an example of the Latin squash. Down. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. To be fair, it was the right shot to play. Just ever so slightly closed racket out. face as he 12, go, 11, goes into this ball. front left hand Hold corner. Do you see this again? Just a bit closed. Yeah, it was the right shot. Fourth game ball for Salazar. See there, Joey, the heart rate's about 170 to 172. And I said this yesterday when Olivia Blatchford was playing Emily Whitlock. Blatchford oh. Well over. played, it's well played from Salazar. Yeah. I think he won that one. 13 11, game for Salazar. Over 206. Rodriguez leads two games to one. Yeah, you said that about Olivia. Unbelievable. Well, the battle of the Latins continues. Cesar Salazar pumped up to the max. 46 minutes, a very, very entertaining squash, but it's the cannonball that still leads two games to one. Well, the entertainment value between these two is pretty apparent. Good squash on both sides. Got ever so slightly scrappy in the mid stage, though. And we felt that that ever so slightly favoured Salazar, but he's done well here, the Mexican, making life a little bit difficult for Rodriguez. He came back well at the late stage of the third game there and he saved a couple of game balls before losing it. But it's Salazar taking the third. Rodriguez still leads by two games to one. 